Welcome to the Lithium Americas Technical Center located here in Reno, Nevada. We're gonna show you each step of the process in detail. When thinking about designing the Thacker Pass process, the team had to consider that this is a novel ore body. We will be the first project to commercialize a clay-based resource. We made the decision as a team that we wanted to minimize the technical risks of the project. We do this through a process that uses unit operations and equipment that are found in mining operations all over the world. We use pieces of equipment that have been proven for decades in operation, and we just take those pieces of equipment and we arrange them in a specific order so that they're applicable for Thacker Pass clay. We wanted to make sure that we didn't just focus on what technical objectives we want to achieve, but also how we do them. So we wanted to focus on water recycle. We wanted to have dry stack tailings. We wanted to minimize our carbon footprint. And right from the beginning, we considered all of these very important factors in our basic design. The process starts by taking the material mined from the pit and going into what we call beneficiation. In the beneficiation process, the ultimate objective is to separate the clay material, where all the lithium is located, from the waste material, which we call coarse gain. The way that we do that is the material mined from the pit will come into pieces of equipment where we make a slurry in a high agitated environment. This agitation causes the clay particles to liberate and separate from the coarse gang material. And then we do a size separation step, isolating the clay fraction from the waste material. The waste material eventually is stockpiled and used for reclamation material inside of the pit. At the end of the mine life, after 40 years, the pit will be completely refilled and reclaimed with this material. The clay, where all the lithium is located, is then the feed to the chemical process plant. From the beginning, we focused on maximizing the use of our water resources. We've been able to achieve an incredibly high water reuse and recycle rate, such that each drop of water that enters the process is reused or recycled seven times before it leaves. The first stage is mixing the clay with sulfuric acid, which is generated on site at a sulfuric acid production facility. Mixing the acid with the clay causes the lithium inside the clay to leach into solution. Once the lithium is in solution, we go through a variety of steps in order to separate the leftover solids and the liquid where all the lithium is contained. The on-site sulfuric acid plant has some very important benefits to our project principally to our sustainability in the environment. Sulfur is one third of the weight of sulfuric acid. So that means we've reduced the number of trucks on the road by three. And in addition, the process for sulfuric acid produces a large amount of heat that we capture as steam, feed through a steam turbine and produce carbon free electricity. So that we are producing 60% of the electricity required for the process on site and completely carbon free. The remaining power that we need comes from the grid, and this is hydroelectric. So Thacker Pass has a completely carbon-free power supply. During the leaching process, not only does lithium get leached into solution, but other constituents that are in the ore also come into solution. These are things like magnesium, potassium, aluminum, iron. Once we separate the solid from the liquid, the liquid goes through purification steps with the goal of removing those contaminant species concentrating the liquid in lithium and making it more pure so that we can make a high quality, battery quality product at the end of the process. After leaching, there's some residual acid. We neutralize with limestone and subsequently raise to a completely neutral pH with magnesium hydroxide that is recycled from downstream in the process. This slurry that is then neutral, we put through countercurrent decantation. This is a washing process where we have a 99% wash efficiency, removing all the lithium and other elements that have been leached. These feed downstream to the purification section of the plant. After the leaching and neutralization process, we use pressure filtration to separate the solids from the lithium containing brine. Those solid filter cakes then go to our dry stack facility. The big advantage is that we are producing a dry material for stacking in our clay tailings filter stack. We have no tailings dams on site. And because this is post neutralization, our tailings are completely neutral and benign for the environment. 
The solution, or brine, coming from countercurrent decantation is then to fed to our magnesium sulfate crystallization circuit. This circuit has some key benefits for us that we do not use any reagents to remove about 80% of the magnesium that has been leached from our ore. We also designed this circuit to use a special technology called mechanical vapor recompression. This technology means that we've electrified our crystallization process, much like the country is pushing to electrify our car fleet. And since our power supply is completely carbon free, this makes for a very sustainable way for us to remove magnesium instead of consuming reagents that have a carbon intensity attached to them. After removing about 80% of the magnesium in the crystallization circuit, the remaining 20% is precipitated out with quicklime. This quicklime um, reacts with magnesium sulfate to form magnesium hydroxide, which is recycled back in the process to neutralization so that we use the reagent twice, really trying to focus on our carbon intensity and minimizing our impact to the environment. Then from calcium precipitation, we move to ion exchange. This is a really important step as we are targeting production of battery grade lithium carbonate, meaning that we have to have a very, very pure feed stream. Ion exchange works much like a softener in your house, removing calcium, magnesium, and we also remove in a second step, boron. This purified brine is then fed to our lithium carbonate circuit, which is standard to the industry. It's the standard way to convert lithium sulfate solutions to a battery grade lithium carbonate product. We feed the lithium sulfate solution to a reactor where we react the lithium sulfate with sodium carbonate or soda ash. Once the brine has been purified and is high concentration in lithium, it's fed to the last stage of the circuit, which is lithium carbonate production. The lithium carbonate circuit is industry standard and is the same technology that is used to produce lithium carbonate from the hard rocks in Western Australia. In this stage, we take the brine and we mix it with soda ash solution, which is sodium carbonate. The carbonate from the soda ash will react with the lithium in the brine and form a solid lithium carbonate precipitate. We will remove those crystals we will then re-dissolve those crystals in another purification stage and recrystallize. Once we do the recrystallization process, the product that comes off is ultra pure lithium carbonate crystals. The soda ash comes from Green River, Wyoming, so it's very close by, inexpensive, and not uh, consuming a lot of carbon in transportation. The lithium sulfate and sodium carbonate react, making lithium carbonate that we centrifuge off However, this material is not yet battery grade. This would be considered a technical grade. So we take the lithium carbonate, we slurry it up in deionized or purified water, and we inject carbon dioxide and convert the lithium carbonate to lithium bicarbonate. We then take the solution, filter it, and feed it to another step where we heat it up and the bicarbonate converts back to carbonate. The final product from Thacker Pass will be high quality, high purity lithium carbonate or battery quality lithium carbonate. This lithium carbonate will then go in to fuel batteries that will electrify vehicles in the future. The most exciting part about this project is, again, this is the first project in the world to extract lithium from clay. That means we get to design the process from the ground up. Here at the Technical Center, we also have a state-of-the-art, fully equipped laboratory. We've spent years developing the analytical methods so that we have reliable and accurate ways to measure lithium and other materials in the process. This data is absolutely critical for us as it helps us run the plant efficiently and also lets us know that our final product is meeting battery quality standards. Now that the process has been defined, the team is focusing on putting our byproducts to beneficial use. We've partnered with the University of Nevada, Reno to help understand these materials and try to introduce more circularity into our process.